Okay, let's look at problem 55 on page 276 on section 4.2. Um, again, this is a max-min problem. They tell us that this is the volume of water at a certain temperature, and I believe this is like the scientifically correct formula. What's the volume at a certain temperature is given by this. We want to find what temperature is it the, is it the smallest, because that's when water is most dense. This is one kilogram of water. This is how big a space it takes. We want to find when the space is the smallest, which means that if we graphed it, it'll look something like this. We want to find this point here when the volume is the smallest. And again, that's when the slope is zero. At a trough like that, at a minimum, the slope is zero. So it's about finding the minimum. So we take the derivative set equal to zero. I mean, this is easy derivatives, right? We have a t, we have a nothing, a t, a t squared, a t cubed. The tricky part here are these numbers, keeping track of these numbers and not making a mistake because they're just horrible, tiny numbers with lots of zeros and stuff. So first step is we take the derivative with respect to temperature, set it equal to zero. The derivative of this is zero, that's nice. Derivative of this, just get rid of the t. So it's negative 0 0.06426. Here we have plus, now this one's negative, that one's plus two times all that. So two times 0 0.0085043. And just a t left, right? So t squared is just two t. And here it's 3t squared, so 3 times all that, and it's minus 3 times 0 0.000679t squared. And we set that equal to 0 to find where the slope is 0. Okay, I'm going to write it as a quadratic because we have a t squared, a t, and a nothing. Um, so let's put this one first. So 3 times 0 0.000679, all that stuff is negative... Point zero 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 two zero three seven t squared. That's this one. Now let's do the t. Two times all that stuff, and it's plus is point zero one seven zero zero eight six t. It's two times that, and then minus point zero six four two six, and that's equal to zero. Okay, this is just a quadratic formula, All right? This is our A, this is our B, this is our C, so it's negative B. So the temperature would be negative B, so negative 0 0.017086 plus or minus the square root of all these horrible things, B squared, 0 0.017086 squared minus 4, times a, which is negative point zero 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 two zero three seven times c, which is negative point zero six four two six. Extend my square root there. All divided by two times a. Two times negative point zero 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 two zero three seven. Okay. So now we got to do a lot of calculator work. Okay, so this divided by that, let's do that first. Um, negative 0 0.0170086 divided by 2 times that. And I get 41.749. And it's positive. We have a negative and negative, so it's positive. So that's right. Plus or minus the square root. And I'm going to show my work, make sure I don't make a mistake here. This squared is 0 0.0002892. And it's minus, because we have a minus. These negatives cancel, so it is minus. So minus, and this, these all multiplied gives me 0 0.0000525. And that's all divided by this times 2, which is negative 0 0.004074. Okay, so 
this is negative, that's plus or minus, doesn't really matter, it just makes the neg plus one negative, the negative one positive, so it's still 41.749 plus or minus this divided by that, and <clears throat> I get that to be um, 37 points, keep 775. Okay, so we have two answers, and they say which is which answer. However, they do say in the problem, between 0 and 30, the volume is given us. This only works between 0 and 30. If we add these, the temperature is 78 or something, 41 plus 37. But we're only worried about 0 and 30, so the plus 1 doesn't work, so it has to be the minus 1. So we'll choose the minus 1 to get it between 0 and 30. So 41.749 minus 37.775, and I get 3.974, and that's, we're talking about degrees Celsius here. Okay, so the water has the smallest volume at 3.974 degrees Celsius. That's when it's the smallest volume, which is actually true. Water is densest at about 4 degrees. Um, when it's pretty cold, 4 degrees Celsius, water is actually the densest. So, okay, so 55 is really not that hard. It's just a lot of numbers and keeping the numbers straight um, and good practice with quadratic formula and everything. So the calculus part was easy, right? Taking the derivative and setting it equal to zero, that was the easy part. This isn't following all these numbers and doing a quadratic formula, right? So, okay, thanks for watching.